So why would anybody want to learn about the three principles? I think that's a really important question to be asking before you learn anything. So I can say that in my experience, I've met people who've used this way of looking at the world, use this understanding to um, overcome their addiction to heroin, for example. I've met ex-prisoners who've turned their lives around as a result of using this understanding. I personally have used this understanding to heal friendships and relationships that I thought maybe were beyond hope. Um, I've used it certainly over the last period of time in lockdown to overcome an enormous amount of stress and see my way through in a very, very difficult job that I was doing in a very difficult period of my life. So the originator of uh, this understanding was a gentleman by the name of Sidney Banks, who was a Scottish welder, right? A man with um, very little formal training, who in the 1970s had an enlightenment experience one day where he intuited spontaneously the uh, principles of mind, thought, and consciousness, and understood instinctively that these three elements together um, provided an understanding of the spiritual nature of human experience. So let's go through these principles one by one. The first principle is mind. So what is mind? Mind is really the basis of our spiritual connection to the universe, to ourselves, to each other. It's formless. Um, you could even say it's part of our connection with God. I mean, Jung described it as, as the collective unconscious. And a sense, essentially, wisdom is our source of power. It's the part of our experience that, that will never let us down. Now, I, I developed a metaphor to, um, to describe how wisdom works. So if you imagine a car radio, for example, um, on, certainly on my car radio, if you, if you dial through all the static, you get all these weird channels. You get sort of bizarre drum and bass channels and radio grease, all this, and without you, you're not actually looking for it. And then finally, you click onto the channel that you're looking for, and that is what Wisdom FM is like. And it's, it's like a kind of a beautiful song that you remember from your childhood. Um, it puts you in a place where you are grounded, okay? You're grounded in your relationship with yourself. You're in a, a good feeling, a good place, and it's from there that you can create powerful relationships with others, and you can create powerful healing within yourself. Now, as humans, the only way for us to get to that sweet spot is to calm our thinking down. If we wanna to get to that magical place where we get in touch with our intuition, we get to solve all the problems that have been occupying our mind, we have to actually slow down and, and begin to understand how thought is working in our lives. Now, once we get to that space, once we get to that place, we can discover the source of our innate well-being. But in order to do that, we have to learn how to understand and really how to calm down our thinking. We have to become aware of um, how we are experiencing reality. And for almost all of us, the way that we experience reality is through the second and third principles, thought and consciousness. So here's a very quick metaphor to describe how those two things work together. Imagine you're in a cinema you're watching a movie. Why do they turn the lights down in a cinema? Because they want you to get more involved in the action, okay? Um, they want you to believe that what is happening on the screen is really happening. So, if you go into the projection booth and you see the film going through the projector, the film going through the projector is your thinking, are your thoughts. The light coming through the projector is your consciousness. So you are projecting onto the screen what you believe is happening in life and what happens at the end of a movie. What happens at the end of the movie is the lights come back on and then you go out into the daylight or the night. And I don't know about you, but I often have this kind of disorienting experience where you, part of your brain suddenly realizes, oh, I've been watching a movie. Well, that's mind. When we make contact with mind and we ground ourselves, we realize that we've been creating our experience through that combination of thought and consciousness. And we realize 
that it's just thought. We realize that we are not our thoughts, but we are what lies behind them. Now, I'm gonna give a story which kind of blew me away when I first um, heard it, and I actually heard it from the person who, who it happened to. This was a guy who was a prisoner and he was addicted to heroin. And he talks about the day when he decided to go clean. So he was on the landing walking to go and see his dealer. Okay, because he had this feeling inside of him or this thought that he needed a hit of the drug. He got to the dealer's door and he paid for the drug and he started to walk back and he realized something. He realized, you know what? That feeling's gone. That need for this drug has gone. So what does that mean? He was learning about the principles of mind, consciousness and thought and he had this insight. So an insight happens when you suddenly see how you've been creating your experiences of reality through thought. He has been experiencing, or he had been experiencing his addiction as a series of thoughts which were telling him you are a heroin addict, you need this heroin. The moment he got the heroin and the feeling or the craving went away, he realized that his thoughts had just created this story which wasn't real. And that was the day when his life changed, that was the day when he gave up heroin, and that was the beginning of his journey out of prison. So here's what happened when I first came into contact with this teaching. Um, I came into contact with the three principles, I would say about five years before I actually started using it. And I went to a center where there was a kind of, kind of therapeutic center, if you like, where they were using these principles to help people manage their lives. And I was sort of, you know, introduced to it, explained the concepts. And um, <laughs> I responded to it really through my rational mind. And my rational mind was telling me, well, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? That's pretty simple, a bit like mindfulness, maybe a bit like meditation, you know. Do I really wanna get involved with this? And I didn't. And then I found myself probably five years later in a situation which, um, a work situation which, to be completely honest with you, I couldn't really handle. There was just too much going on, it was too stressful. I didn't really know what to do and I was looking, I was looking around. And I came across a video by um, an amazing Three Principles practitioner called Dr. Mark Howard. It just so happened he was giving a, um, an explanation, Three Principles, a little bit like this. And he said, uh, he was describing an encounter that he had with one of his clients. And his clients had come, had come to him that day and said, Mark, I, I had the most amazing experience recently. I've realized that I don't need to think the thoughts that I'm thinking. And it was that one phrase that provided me with the spontaneous insight. It suddenly hit home. It wasn't an intellectual analysis of what this means anymore. It was kind of, oh my goodness, that's just a thought. That's just a thought. And I remember driving home that day, <laughs> my mind was churning as per usual. But this time I was saying to myself, that's just a thought. Oh, that's just a thought. And then suddenly this gap began to open up between me and my thinking. And my life changed as a result of it. So I'm presenting this to you today, really, because if there's anything in it that you find um, resonates with you, then I, I would advise you to look into it. There's a whole bunch of resources online and elsewhere. Um, and just be open, allow it to, uh, allow the understanding to wash over you and see if you find it useful.